It's been the biggest question facing Indianapolis. How to stop the violence? The proposed answer is coming from every corner of Indy. Mayor Hogshead has announced a gun-free event this weekend and proposed new gun restrictions. IMPD has added cameras to problem areas. Lawrence police have approved overtime patrols. Nonprofits are asking the youth to step up. Fellowship groups have started Friday night basketball leagues to keep kids out of trouble. And even business owners have tried to curb the violence by buying former problem buildings. We showed you this list of some of the things we could come up with that's being done. And we asked a simple question. Is it enough? Well, I don't even think all this should be done. There's a couple of good ideas there, but there's a couple of bad ideas. It's kind of a mixed bag. I agree with this 100%. Everyone I read, I think it would be a good thing for this town. It's a good start. Uh, you got to start. These are seven things. If you don't start with these or if you make excuses to not do anything, it's just going to get worse. The reaction, mixed. Cameras are a good idea. But having a gun-free event is simply announcing that all honest citizens will be defenseless. But many people told me it's what wasn't on this list that needs to be changed. I think that's your number one problem right there is parents need to step in, be parents, be responsible, and discipline the children, number one. I think we need stricter enforcement of uh, gun laws and gun crimes and criminals in general. But no matter what they believed, everyone could agree on one thing. Something needs to be done. Indianapolis needs to get better because I don't want to be here. It needs to get better because if it don't, it just, I don't know what Indianapolis will be in years. In Indianapolis, Jenny Dreisler, Fox 59 News.